AG Tools plugin for Autodesk Revit Video Manual Part 3, Total Area and Total Length. Now these tools here they are pretty self-explanatory. Total Area will add the area of various elements and you can filter by floor, walls, roofs, rooms and areas. And then Total Length does the same thing except for it will do the length and you can filter lines and walls. So here's how I use both of these. Now let's say we are painting the exterior walls and I need to find the area of these. Uh, you could select the wall one at a time and Revit will actually give you the area right here in the properties. But unfortunately when you select two walls, it will not give you the uh, area of both of the walls combined. It's a little silly. So let's give it a shot. We're going to click filter by walls here and then we're going to click add areas. Click this wall, this wall, this one and the last one here. And then we're going to click in the upper left corner finish. As you see, the total area of exterior walls is 11,876 square feet. Now let's say we're painting exterior walls, interior walls, and the roofs. A quick way to do that, we click total area again. Let's get rid of this guy here. So I'm going to select floors, uh, actually no floors, we'll just do the interior walls. So roofs and walls, click add area, and just select the whole model because that's all I have it's right here is just walls and my roof. So here you go, you can see everything is selected, my floors are not. I'm going to click finish. And the total area is 39,761 square feet. We could do the same thing for areas. So let's go to our first floor plan. As you see, when you click a room here, it should give you the square footage. Yep, area is 1,019 square feet in the properties here. But when you select both of them, you get the same issue. Let's say, obviously you could schedule it, but let's say quickly you want to add some areas of the rooms. Let's do that. Total area, rooms, add area, and I'm going to do that. And we're going to remove this hallway from here. So I want to know the area of these four rooms here. Finish. And it's 4,092 square feet. Let's try total length now. Works the same exact ways, except for you can now filter lines and walls. Now, walls, self-explanatory, you want to find the length of a wall. The reason I use lines for is I use this actually for exiting plan. Let's say I want to find the exiting distance from here down to that door. So I'm going to click lines, add lines, and we're going to click this guy, this one, and this one. Then click finish. As you see, it's 101.83 feet. I like to add five, you know, because uh, graphically I don't show the line going all the way to the door. So let's say it's 105 feet. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.